really excited with uh, how this turned out. This was my first clock. Also, first time uh, making a circle. Uh, so made a, a circle cutting jig on the table saw. Stay tuned for that. Uh, did some clear coat, uh, some tabletop epoxy for that crazy gloss. But this project is an amazing project to do, especially if you have some off cut, some small pieces that you don't want to throw out. So got some highly figured Clara Walnut here, got some live edge, got some blue epoxy, but pretty happy with how this turned out. Fun art piece for the home. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, well, uh, this is an epoxy project. So you got to build a form uh, for that epoxy resin to cure. Uh, if you got more questions or want to learn more about epoxy river tables, all that kind of stuff, uh, check out this link up in that top corner uh, for my first river table and what I learned through the process. Big thing with something like this is you want to make sure you clean those pieces really well. They don't have dust and debris, uh, which would look really unsightly on the final product. Um, got the silicone going on just to make sure there's no gaps, but also keep these pieces in place. I, of course, did clamp them down later. All right, uh, for the epoxy itself, I went with uh, some eco epoxy. You know, that, that's the way to go if you're doing thick pours. You don't need uh, something that thick. You, I mean, you need something thicker than a, a tabletop. But um, anyway. Use the epoxy. it took three days to cure, but it worked well. Um, you know, a total boat would have worked great too. Uh, but that beautiful blue, uh, kind of filling it out, you know, um, really happy with the color. And then I uh, went with the second color to kind of get that really deep uh, effect. And I could have done more, you know, I was a little shy, you know, I, I could have uh, made it a thicker piece, but because I knew this was gonna be a clock, I didn't need it to be super thick. Um, so after the full cure, rip it out of the, the, the form and pry it open and, you know, take a look at it, get rid of all that silicone. You don't want that to gum up your blades in the planer. Um, you don't have to have a planer. You could just use a belt sander uh, to, to flatten this, but uh, using the planer, getting all flat and um, can really see that, that look, that effect. Um, but I wanted to make a clock, so uh, a jig it was. Um, it's a pretty straightforward jig, just a runner to go in those minor spots in the table saw. Uh, anytime you're doing something on the table saw, be careful, be careful, be careful, uh, test it out. Um, you know, I went with a little bit thicker dowel, probably would have done smaller, but this worked really well. Um, but just be safe if you're going to try it this way, uh, take it easy. Um, then over to uh, the, the oscillating belt sander, just to get that perfect circle shape, clean up those lines on the side. And then of course, you got to do a round over. Um, get a little edge profile, nothing like that router edge profile to really, really class it up a bit. Really happy with how that looks. All right, so uh, sanding, plenty of sanding. Again, I recommend checking out one of those other videos uh, on kind of sanding progressions and how to get rid of those lines and not leave, leave the swirl marks. Um, I did raise the grain a bit uh, just because I wanted to see if there were any uh, sanding marks. Um, not necessary, but you can kind of see the color. All right, so uh, the finish. Um, I went with Tabletop Epoxy. Um, this, this company, Upstart Epoxy, uh, sent it to me and to test out, and it was my first time using Tabletop. Really happy uh, with how this, this stuff worked. Um, you can see in that middle, that hole that I had drilled for the, uh, the dowel on the, the jig, uh, I did fill with epoxy just so that you know, it would work. Uh, but then later it's gonna go away with the, the clock insert. But yeah, you're just applying uh, the tabletop. It's pretty straightforward. There's plenty of directions with whatever you use on, on how to do this. I uh, just want that uniform coverage. Um, just it's self leveling. It'll take care of itself. Um, get all those drips and eventually you'll, you'll clean those up later. But all those bubbles be gone. So blowtorch, heat gun, um, you know, be careful. Don't go too hot, but it removes all those air bubbles and you can really, really start to see that color and it does not disappoint. So yeah, here I am cleaning up those those drip edges, make sure it doesn't stick to the piece, you know, that you're resting on. But it is glossy, glossy goodness. Really happy with it. All right, well, eventually uh, got to finish the project where I uh, drilled out that hole. And so since I'd already drilled the hole, I knew where the center was. So this worked actually rather easily. Um, nice and easy, take it easy. Um, I could have clamped that down, but it was fine. Um, drilled that hole out for the kit. Uh, I just got these, you know, clock kits and numbers on Amazon. Uh, pretty straightforward, um, messing around with it. I used some CA glue and activator for these numbers. Uh, really happy with, with that look. Uh, didn't want to jump on the scroll saw and do the numbers and didn't want to paint it. So really happy with how it, how it turned out. It's a clock and it actually works. I was, I was concerned for a while. I'm like, no, it works. Um, it functions and um, it's a beautiful art piece. So I'm really happy with it. Hope you enjoy. Hope you're inspired to make one.
Thanks, guys.